In today's lunch break, we're settling into the winter month with a warm and cozy black truffle risotto with Amanda Puck from Mariano's. Okay, so not only do you have a great recipe for today, but I am so sad that I didn't know about this <laughs> magazine that they have at the checkout yeah. at Mariano's. Yes. It is chock full of really good recipes from, from great chefs from all yeah. kinds of Chicago area chefs that have been on our show yes. that you've gone to restaurants to see. It's amazing. Thank you. We're really excited about the magazine. It really showcases what we do at the stores, and we also donate a percentage of proceeds every year to Blessings in a Backpack. So oh, I love it's, uh, that. Really goes to a really good cause. Okay, so, and yeah. so now you're kind of featuring rice dishes because yes. let's face it, we want that hearty kind of stick to your ribs food when yes. it's this cold out. We love carbs. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. We love yeah. carbs. And trying to be healthier in the new year, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, rice is pretty healthy, I think. So yes. yeah, right. It's a good alternative. All right, so you're doing a risotto today. Yep. So we are focusing on rice because we have global markets at Mariano's, sure. and we feature ingredients from all over the world. Jose Andreas olive oils, potato chips, uh, tin fish. So we have like a whole like selection of great items. Right. But then we're like rice. We have great rice. We have rice from Italy. We have um, rice from China. We have rice from North Carolina. So we're trying to really uh, work with our chefs to develop these global recipes yes. and flavors. And you've got some Spanish rice for your paella kits yes. as well. Right, exactly. Which so. I think are pretty cool. I mean, you've got the pot and everything. We right? got the like pan. Them. We got the uh, stocks. If you want to do meat, vegetarian, or seafood, mm -hmm. we have the uh, chorizo sausage. We have obviously in our meat and seafood department, you can get shrimp and lobster and chicken thighs and whatever else you know you really desire to right. go. That's what I love about paella. You can totally customize it. Yes, which is really cool. You're making our life so much easier because I think that is one <laughs> of the most difficult things. It's not the cooking; it's coming up with ideas. Ideas. Of what to cook for your yeah. family. Recipes. How do you, can you get all the ingredients in one place, you know, just making yes. things really easy for people so that it's just sort of, they can just get everything and go home and have fun. All right. I'm yeah. ready. With All wine, right. too. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> After January. After in February. <laughs> Sorry, everyone yeah. can, drink, can drink wine. Well, all right. So you're sweating some onions? Yes, yeah, so I'm sweating it? some okay. onions. So, um, you know, risotto to me is like a really fun recipe because it sounds very, you know, luxurious and fancy, but, you know, it's it's really easy to make. You just need patience. So right. that's like that's the key exactly to it. it. It seems intimidating to people, but yes. honestly, it's just slow and steady. Just slow and steady is exactly right. So, so uh, what I did before uh, you came over is I started like sweating the onions with some olive oil. So I used the Jose Andreas olive oil. And I also used some Italian imported butter to give it a little like creamy creaminess oh. to start. So I love when it's at this stage now. And now we're going to actually add the rice. So when we add this rice in, it's from our uh, black truffle risotto kit. I'm going to really make sure it gets coated in this pan with all of the oil and the butter. And it smells really good, oh, which gosh, is always a plus great. when you cook with olive oil and butter together. And you and smell the garlic, yes. you know, which is nice. Yeah, and the flavors. truffles are already in that rice. So, so this, this, so uh, you can either use arborio rice. Mm -hmm. um, you can use the same recipe and just substitute the arborio rice. So it's you don't have to use the kits. Okay. But the kits come pre-flavored with some uh, some dry spices and also some truffles. So oh, nice. it's up All to right. you. Makes it I easy. always like to add more on at the end. So, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so we will do that. Especially because you brought your fancy little grater. I know. Here. We're gonna <laughs> get crazy. I love that grater so this much. This is so cool. <laughs> I'm like obsessed. Thank you. Um, great. So now it's getting, you can see it getting a little toasted in color. Right. So all you, coated there. All coated. So mm -hmm. I usually would let this go if I was at home like five-ish minutes. I really like to get that caramelized uh, mm -hmm. look going. And then we add the wine. So I always joke, um, when you cook with wine, you have to drink, you have to just cook with wine that you like to drink because you're only going to use right. a little bit of it. So you yes, want to make sure be you open. can enjoy it with everybody in February after a dry January. Yeah. Um, so I'm adding about a quarter cup and I'm going to let that kind of cook off and then I'm going to chill that for later on. In February. <laughs> yes. <laughs> For later on, two weeks exactly from today. <laughs> So we're gonna let that kind of, you know, uh, cook off, and um, you're gonna just smell that great flavor, all that delicious stuff. So you're gonna keep doing this, and this is gonna take a full, probably, I, I can usually, like 20 to 30 minutes is the max you'll be cooking risotto for. Okay. Um, but what the key is, is once this is toasty and once the wine reduces, you're gonna add stock. Little bit at a time, Yes, right? a very little bit at a time. So I did bring a big ladle, but I usually add like two ounces at a time. And my husband's actually really excellent at making this. When we have people over, he's the one who does it, but I, I watch him. So yeah, I know. my husband has more patience than I do yes. as well, so he's better at this. <laughs> yes, I know. It's fun to, it's fun to have, them, have them cook you yes. know, and, and check it out. Um, so we're going to keep stirring this 
very, you know, um, you don't have to do it vigorously, but I would just make sure you're incorporating everything. And then you're going to see over time, the rice is going to develop a creaminess. Um, mm -hmm. It's going to look a little brothy. Um, you're going to put in more stock and it's going to absorb it. It's going to absorb all that delicious flavor. And wait for the absorption before yes. you add it again. Correct. So right. this is still a little too wet, but once you really see it absorbing, um, you know, it takes a little time, but then you start adding more and more and more. And I, the recipe I think calls for almost three cups. I keep four on hand because you just never know, you know, right. the rate at which will cook or, or that kind of thing. So. And I think with risotto, it's sort of like you don't follow a specific recipe. You Correct. just have to yeah. look at it and you have to taste it and make sure, you know, is it still kind of too crunchy? Yes. Is it too? juicy you know right. and just keep going from there right and what I love to say about risotto is that when you cook pasta you love pasta to be al dente yeah it's the same with risotto you don't right. want a mushy pot of rice you want a delicious you want to taste the kernels of the rice you really want to experience that yes so I kind of have so one that we're finishing this guy over here because yeah, it's plate beautiful this so you can really smell uh, the truffle, the Parmesan, all that kind of good stuff. So as we're getting close to the end here, that looks very creamy to me. Mm -hmm. like, so I'm going to add just a little bit of um, the, the imported Italian butter because it always adds such great flavor. So we're going to put a little bit of that in there at the end, about two tablespoons. And we're going to stir that in with, of course, uh, a little bit of Parmesan cheese. A little bit of cheese. So we're going to do that in there. And what I love about adding the cheese is that it, you're going to see the cheesy pull of it. It, it really makes, it really it finishes it quite nicely. Oh, yeah. All right, while you're plating that up, I want to let people know you can check out Marianos.com for their locations, find all these different great rice dishes, and don't walk by the checkout without <laughs> grabbing this magazine with wonderful recipes. We'll have today's recipe on our website, WGNTV.com slash midday. Oh, yeah, look at that. You can see the cheese. It looks so delicious. Oh, I made a little plop over there, so I apologize.